This week on Impact Wrestling, my guest at this time, Rockstar Spud, will be exercising option C, and Rockstar Spud will challenge Kurt Angle for this very TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Spud, thank you for your time today. I have been very vocal in trying to dissuade you from exercising option C. It, it doesn't sound like, I don't think you can beat Kurt Angle. You and I are great friends. We've talked about this privately. We're now talking about it publicly. You're no longer X Division champion. You may leave Impact Wrestling this week with nothing. I risked it all. I told you. I, I had nothing when I got into this business, Josh. I've told you this privately. I'm going to tell it you publicly now. I got into this business with nothing, and I had a million and one people just like you that say you're making a mistake. I risked it all. Everything I ever wanted in that exhibition championship for this. To be world champion. Me. Imagine that. Let's say I'm right. Let's say that the majority is correct. You go out there and you lose to Kurt Angle. You're left with nothing. How? How am I left with nothing? I got in there with the best professional wrestler in the world. And I hung with him. Yes, yeah, so what? I may have lost. Guess what? It's just gonna make me want it that much more. What makes you think that you can hang with Kurt Angle? What makes you think that you can get in the what ring? What makes you think I can't? I'm just playing- No, that. honestly, what, no, no, you're playing devil's advocate. What makes you think I can't? Because Kurt Angle's a six-time world champion. He's a TNA Hall of Famer. He's been in the ring with the greatest in our sport and he's beaten the greatest in our sport. Don't you think I know that? Josh. Well, I, I question Josh, if- Josh, that's Kurt Angle, yes. But I'm Rockstar Spud. People told me I wasn't supposed to be in this business. I did it. People told me I'd never wrestle for a professional company. I did it. People told me I'd never be a champion and I did it! So, I know more about Kurt Angle than he knows about himself. I've been watching Kurt Angle my entire life. And not only that, I've been watching Austin Aries as well. They know nothing about me compared to what I know about them. You make a great point. So let's go the other side of the coin. Let's say you beat Kurt Angle. Let's say somehow miracles happen, you beat Kurt. Then you gotta face Austin Aries. You've already been in the ring with Kurt Angle. Who knows what sort of damage he may have done to you. You, 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 you wait a little bit and then you gotta get in the ring with Austin Aries. He's a former world champion. Right now, he may be, he may be the best in the world right now. What's your thoughts about that? Yeah, he's the greatest man that ever lived. Yes, he's a former world heavyweight champion. But if that's the case, I've just beaten the best in the industry. So that now puts me on his level. Now he's got to beat me to be the champion. He's got to beat me. I'd be the one with the advantage. Does it, does it not compute? I mean, I mean, I understand your frustration with me. I know we're close personal friends and everything, but I understand your frustration. No, no, I'm not no, hang on. How, did you, how did you feel when you became a pro wrestler and people told you, told you, mate, that you couldn't do it? You're not the biggest in the world, Josh, but they told you just the same. Why? Why are you bothering? You're not going to make it? How did it feel? I took option B. I, I took the second door. But you wanted to prove them wrong, didn't you? You wanted to be in this business. You love this business. And that's how much I love this business. I wanted to be the world heavyweight champion. That was the only reason I got in this business. To be the guy, the top guy. To do all the media appearances, to do interviews like this publicly, to do everything it takes to be the guy, to be the world heavyweight champion. And you're going to knock me for that? You're gonna knock me for that. Although we're friends, you're gonna knock me for that. Well, first and foremost, I'm not knocking you for wanting what comes with this. For wanting those media appearances, for wanting first class travel, for wanting all the things would come, that come with this. None of that matters to me. What? None of that matters to me. All that matters to me is being the world heavyweight champion and being the face of this company. That's you, it. you made the decision to exercise option C in an emotional state. Now we're here, we're in Nashville, we're in the studio. Do you regret your decision? Do you wish you could take it back? No. An emotional state? Every word that guy said is every word everybody's been telling me my entire life. My family, my friends, the fans. Everyone that's told me, you shouldn't do this. Stupid. Even you're telling it me. One of my close personal friends and even you're telling it me. You're stupid. You shouldn't do this. But I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove everyone at home wrong. I'm going to prove everyone wrong. I'm going to go on to the main event and defeat Austin Aries for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Because I'm walking out of Destination X, the TNA World Heavyweight Champion, whether you like it or anyone at home likes it. He's got passion, folks. 
Is this the closest Rockstar Spud gets to the TNA World Heavyweight Championship? Find out this week on Impact Wrestling.